Well, yes, uh, as expected, Malikarjun Karge has won with a almost 90% majority in this election. The electorate was roughly around 9,400 votes and 10% uh, or 1,072 votes have gone in Shashi Tharoor's favour. Shashi Tharoor has congratulated Malikarjun Karge and said that he would like to work with them, uh, work with his team very closely and the Nehru Gandhi family will always hold a very uh, strong place and big place in the hearts of uh, Congress workers. A lot of celebrations here at the Congress headquarters where we are right now. Uh, many, of course, would say that this was a foregone conclusion. Uh, wherever Malik Arjun Kharge had gone uh, while campaigning in this election, he had got a bigger reception than Shashi Tharoor. And this is exactly what Shashi Tharoor had been saying as well, that uh, this is not a level playing field. In fact, in fact, members of his team had also alleged uh, voter fraud in this election. But of course, they, they took back uh, those complaints in uh, the run-up of the voting process. So now that he has been elected, let's see what changes. What is what is the amount of freedom that Malik Arjun Karge really has? Because the G23, the, the, the group of dissidents within the Congress had been asking for major change, major reform uh, in the organization process. So let's see how much reform actually takes place. But Malik Arjun Karge is believed to be a strong loyalist of the Gandhi family, the 80-year-old former railway minister, uh, is someone who has been backed by the Gandhi family in this election. So many also believe that the status quo will continue, but this was a big demand of a bulk of leaders in the Congress that there should be an election, there should be a full-time president of the Congress party. Back to you. All right, Parikshit.